What's going on guys, it's Redgrave here, and today I have another tutorial video for you guys. So I've noticed in the DMC Discord and a bunch of other uh, YouTube videos and streams, people are still asking the same question, which is, how do you deal with the Fury as Virgil? So today, I decided to show you guys all the ways on how you can deal with him, uh, both practically and just obliterating him. So. If you guys have any other tutorials or any other questions or comments that uh, you would like me to show and demonstrate, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments down below or check out my stream and ask me live, and I will try to help you the best that I can. Alright, so to start off here, the Fury has 2500 health, so in order to actually kill him, you obviously have to uh, reach that requirement. So, the first thing that you can do is as the Fury is spawning, you can hit him with any of the Rest super moves to kill him. Hell on Earth does almost double the amount of damage to kill him. Um, super Stinger, uh, as I like to call it, Stinger will kill him after a little bit. And then doing an end will do about half the damage, so you're going to have to do a second die. Like to uh, do like to kill the fury. On human difficulty, though, and uh, I believe on Devil Hunter as well, he'll die instantly. Um, especially on human, he dies instantly to uh, the first judgment cut end. Obviously, you can do one of the three super moves to blow him up, but the problem is you have to uh, do each super move depending on the circumstance. So, your goal is to kill the fury as soon as he spawns. Uh, that's probably the most practical way to actually kill him with one of the super moves. Um, right when he spawns, uh, I would try to hit him with either a Hell on Earth or a Judgment Cut End, depending on the difficulty. If you're able to get a Hell on Earth, if you're quick enough, um, that will obviously instantly guarantee a kill, but um, if you want a little bit of a safer approach, hit him with a Judgment Cut end. So that way it's more of a guaranteed I hit him for approximately like a little more than half of the damage. And it also has the uh, Time Stopper. And obviously, any time that you can stop the Fury with a move that stops time, like Void Slash, uh, or even the Heavy Rain, uh, the heavy rain Swords, um, that will obviously help. Uh, keep him in place so that your uh, move is actually guaranteed to hit. But if the Fury happens to get away, what I like to do, and I'll demonstrate it here real quick. Oh, have strong settings. So I'll hit him with a jump right here. And then let him escape. So he escapes right here. And what I like to do is I like to immediately hit him with a super stinger. Or even if he just escapes in general right off the get-go, I'll just escape real quick. He's, he's teleporting around. He's really there is no I like escape. to hit him with Super Stinger, because even if he's completely out of the way right there, that was carried. Rest in peace. And then that pretty much instantly killed him. In situations like that, especially if you're presented uh, with more than one Fury at a time, mm -hmm. I personally like to hit him with a Deep Stinger. Uh, just because uh, normally when moves have uh, multi-hit properties, um, the Fury tends to escape a little, uh, a little faster. However, if you hit him with a Super Stinger, he will not escape until you're done with the move. Which will then, like I demonstrated, give you an opportunity to freeze him and then hit him with another super move. So that is obviously uh, the most practical and quickest way uh, to kill the Fury, but you need the super moves which require the Devil Trigger and the full concentration. So if you don't have those, there's still a couple of other ways to deal with him, and the main resource for that is using Beowulf. So Beowulf has a couple of multi-hit moves that will pretty much guarantee uh, to stun the Fury. Obviously the first one is Flush. You can also hit him with a Lunar Phase as well, but in my opinion this is probably uh, the least effective and the least practical. Uh, just because it does... The, uh, the parrying window time isn't as super lenient. Um, it doesn't really do that much damage in comparison uh, 
to the other alternative, which I will show you. And so far, my personal favorite uh, move to hit him out is uh, something that I've seen uh, uh, like Scarn use a lot, and I found it so most effective. Here, and with a couple of blistering swords here, and you can even hold the blistering sword. Basically, repeating this cycle will ensure that the fury is absolutely dead. Um, I, as I demonstrated there, like to follow up uh, mainly with a blistering sword just because it's a fast uh, multi hit projectile that does a lot of damage, especially right after the stun. In my opinion, Kick 13 is uh, the most effective way of hitting him as long as you time it right. If you don't time it right, obviously, he will still hit you, and um, that will <laughs> obviously uh, lessen your chances of survival, but. Mainly Beowulf's uh, Kick 13, his Flush, and Lunar Phase are his best and most efficient ways that I've found to dealing with the Fury um, if you don't have a super move to just nuke him. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that this helped. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I do check my comments pretty regularly, so um, if you have any questions or just want to say hi, just let me know and uh, feel free to comment down below. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.